component of our program this year, working with a four businesses, we're able to work with the families in our education program and not only provide the ABCs, mm -hmm. but also begin to help them identify through some guidance where they want to go beyond education. Mm -hmm. And with the corporate partners, we're able to provide some training and actual employment preparation and employment with the adults in the program. Mm -hmm. The other programs mm -hmm. we provide are in a community services, a, a, a sort of outreach. Mm -hmm. um, and that involves our programs for the elderly and the handicapped, such as the Meals on Wheels program, mm -hmm. which I began with uh, mm -hmm. back in 1980. We also provide resources for the community through Martha O'Brien's community base mm -hmm. that they have a difficulty accessing in other ways. Mm -hmm. Martha O'Brien houses a Metro Resource Center, mm -hmm. which is where Metro Social Services and Department of Human Services mm -hmm. come together to provide in one place through one person the needs for a family. This is the one-stop shop, it, is that good? Yes. That's, Explain that and talk about that. Well, one of the, one of the issues that uh, I think Mayor Bredesen saw and many of us in social service see is that families who need our help, we often make it very difficult for them to receive that help, mm -hmm. not only in terms of accessing those. I mean, we, have, we, we make them travel all over town to get mm -hmm. the, the services that, that they need or to get signed up for those. Mm -hmm. But we also make them talk to a number of different people. We mm -hmm. have to talk to one person if we need assistance with food, someone mm -hmm. else if we need for housing. Mm -hmm. The one-stop shopping is an effort to bring together and consolidate all those services where a case manager can sit down with a family and help guide and plan for them an opportunity to get to everything they need mm -hmm. without having to go all over town to do it. Mm -hmm. So as a resource in our center, we can provide access to that service. But we can also integrate that into what Martha O'Brien does. Um, I think the opportunity to pull together programs and services so that we as professionals are molding the best support system for families is important. Um, so as a resource, we can provide those within our building and we coordinate with many agencies in bringing their professionalism and their expertise into the Martha O'Brien Center. Um, as a community base, they want that access. We have families who need services, mm -hmm. so we can provide those. And as I said, through counseling, we work with Family and Children's Services, Crittenden Services, mm -hmm. Oasis Center. I mentioned that we are a Martha O'Brien Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. so we work with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Middle Tennessee. Second Harvest, Nashville Reed, mm -hmm. uh, Senior Citizens are a number of the agencies we work with in a private sector, but we're real pleased to also have that public partnership through the Metro mm -hmm. Departments. Mm -hmm. Ms. Keller, I, uh, the uh, Comprehensive uh, Family Center, uh, that whole idea and some of the things that you're doing, they're uh, so enormous that you sort of hesitate even to raise questions in reference to some of these areas. Uh, I think you mentioned earlier uh, about uh, your corporate sponsors. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about that, uh, and let's talk about it from the uh, perspective of trying to create a situation, because I say that primarily because now we're dealing with uh, a situation where we will almost immediately have to deal with welfare reform. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of the things that will be on the mm -hmm. uh, national agenda, and as a person involved in social welfare, uh, you uh, understand that. Very let's definitely. talk about it from the uh, corporate uh, point of view. That is, what can... <coughs> Uh, private America do in order to help deal with some of the problems that we find in the welfare system? Well, one is to become uh, aware and informed and educated as to what those problems are. I think looking sometimes from the outside in, we, we make judgments as to the situations and the circumstances that families are facing. Uh, so education, I think, for the corporate community is real important. Um, I think what Martha O'Brien Center does is it provides not only an opportunity for corporate citizens and entities to give back and help, but it also provides a, an, uh, a service and a product that corporations and businesses need. Many of the, co the companies we're working with, the first thing they mention to us is that a, a qualified educated, prepared mm -hmm. workforce mm -hmm. is very difficult to sustain. What are some of the corporate uh, uh, companies that you're working with? And, and I say that primarily because we want, uh, we want it known mm -hmm. that uh, companies that are uh, making that kind of effort and making that kind of contribution 
Uh, we want it known primarily because uh, others might wish to do so, mm -hmm. but they might uh, be somewhat reluctant to become involved. And let's talk about okay. it from that perspective. Call names. Well, so. I, we have a number of companies who give financial support to the center, mm -hmm. but those that are involved this year in our family education and job training program uh, are four that we're working with for this calendar year is uh, Opryland, Kroger, uh, or Opryland Gaylord Entertainment, mm -hmm. Kroger, Kelly Services, mm -hmm. and Bellmead Country Club. Mm -hmm. And these were businesses who became in, involved with Martha O'Brien first to meet an initial need they had, which was to find individuals who wanted to work and had the skills mm -hmm. to work and provide employment for them. Uh, we have individuals that Martha O'Brien works with that want to work. Mm -hmm. What they lack is someone that will help teach mm -hmm. them the skills they need mm -hmm. and provide an opportunity for them to get started. Mm -hmm. um, I remember starting to, when I came out of school, starting to work, everybody wanted experience. Mm -hmm. What experience do you have? Mm -hmm. I think these businesses are recognizing that, that we need to step and mm -hmm. help prepare, step forward and help prepare families mm -hmm. for the workforce. And so they're working with us in a training program mm -hmm. and providing some very detailed classes for adults mm -hmm. so that they can be prepared to enter the workforce. But then they're also guaranteeing and providing mm -hmm. opportunities for them mm -hmm. to work. Mm -hmm. Part-time while they're in school, mm -hmm. recognizing that the education and the preparation on the front end are mm -hmm. real important to the success on the other end. Mm -hmm. And so part-time and 